The Boeing Dreamlifter is one of the most distinctive aircraft around. Its massive fuselage gives it the capacity to carry Boeing 787 sections, among other large freight. This is only part of the modification made to the base 747 airframe, though. The re-engineered tail is another major difference. The Dreamlifter, also known as the Large Cargo Freighter, or LCF, is Boeing's high-capacity freighter. Conceived while developing the 787, Boeing used suppliers as far away as Japan and Italy and thus needed a way to transport Dreamliner components to its US-based assembly lines. Land and sea transport would be too slow, while existing freighters just weren't large enough. The solution was for Boeing to build its own fuselage transporter. Based on the 747-400 airframe, the Dreamlifter was introduced into service in 2007 with a total of four built. Expanding the fuselage of these transporters to take their huge cargo is an engineering challenge in itself. Getting the cargo in and out is another. The 747-400F has a lifting cargo nose, but this would not be sufficient to provide full access to the enlarged fuselage. Side cargo wouldn't work well either. While Airbus's Beluga and Beluga XL has a full opening front cargo door above a lowered cockpit section, Boeing opted for an opening tail section, adding the unique ability for the entire tail section to swing open. Adding this functionality is not easy. SAE International looked in some detail at the engineering challenges presented, which included developing a secure and reliable alignment and latching solution, ensuring operation in environmental extremes, including high temperature and strong winds, and providing correct load transmission from the tail to the fuselage. The full swinging tail measures approximately 29 by 23 feet and is hinged on the left-hand side of the aircraft. Two actuators at the rear of the fuselage provide hydraulic power to move the opening tail section. The proprietary latching system uses 21 locks arranged right around the intersection to lock it into place. This was actually based on a system originally designed for a Boeing 777 folding wing proposal. Gamesa Aeronautica of Spain provided additional engineering support to the project. Ensuring the tail door remains sealed and locked when in flight is critical, of course. The fuselage section is not pressurized, although the front section, forward of an added bulkhead, is. The locking system can only be activated using ground support equipment. Cargo is loaded using custom-built cargo loaders and guided into place with a laser guiding system located at the swing opening. There is also no APU in the tail of the aircraft, as other 747 aircraft have. There is some interesting discussion of this on the Professional Pilots Rumor Network website, where it sensibly suggested that the removal was mainly to avoid running a fuel line through the hinging door. This leaves the Dreamlifter reliant on an external supply for engine start. An amazing aircraft both for its size and additional engineering, the Dreamlifter is certainly an impressive achievement. Have you seen a Dreamlifter for yourself yet? Do you prefer it to the Airbus Beluga XL? Let us know in the comments. In addition to our daily YouTube videos, Simple Flying publishes over 150 articles and a podcast every week. If you're looking for the latest aviation news and insights, visit simpleflying.com. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe before you go.